A lot of people ask me why are so many unaccompanied children crossing the Mediterranean Sea. And of course I cannot speak on behalf of all of them, but what many, many of them have told me is that they just have to flee what they describe as hell in Libya. My name is Julie and I work as a humanitarian affairs officer on board Geo Barents, the search and rescue vessel of MSF in the central Mediterranean. Every time I arrive on deck, my first thought when I see those hundreds of people just being there is how glad I am that they are alive. And you see all of them wearing those blue masks covering half of their face and the black beanie that we give them when they arrive on board. And, and suddenly your eyes cross those of another person and you realize this is actually a child. This is a child on, on a ship and he has just crossed the world's deadliest migration route and he's here without any mother, without any father, without any family member. During this rotation, there was a very high number of unaccompanied minors on board, 140, and that is the highest number uh, of unaccompanied minors that have ever been rescued by geobarents. Unaccompanied minors are leaving and trying to cross the central Mediterranean for many different reasons. I heard uh, many telling me that they're trying to escape from forced enrollment in the army. Some are uh, fleeing from uh, conflict and war. But what definitely all of them have in common is that whatever the reason why they left, they all go through Libya where they face abuse, extortion, sexual and physical violence. And when we know how extreme it is for adults to try the sea crossing, we cannot imagine how difficult it must be for a child. The younger children, they're uh, on another deck uh, with some of the women as well, and they're just running around, playing, drawing, um, basically being children. But although they seemingly are coping with the situation, we also know how affected they remain by the situation and by what they've been through in Libya.